very welcome. So uh, these days are some, for me, very exciting days. It's actually better than Christmas. It's better than my birthday. So I'm happy to have you all here. Uh, my name is Nikolai, and I'm organizing this conference together with the Danish Diabetes Academy. So first of all, I just have something I would like, uh, some people I would like to thank. First of all, the Novo Nordisk Foundation for supporting this event. But perhaps more important is uh, the Danish Diabetes Academy in particular, and Manon, she's standing here. And Mette, I don't know if she's outside probably drinking coffee. And Pernille, who is now on maternity leave, they have been instrumental for this conference. So thank you very much for your help. And of course also, yeah, let's do this. And of course also to the students who went up here very early this morning. I don't know, uh, Fee, how early you went up uh, this morning. Was it five or what to start the organization? Yeah, so thank you also for, for you guys and to my mentor Jens Holtz for actually bringing me into the glucagon field. So thank you for that, Jens. I would also like to thank the uh, abstract and poster committee, Jonathan, Danielle, Anas, Carolyn and Kirstine for your time evaluating the abstract. And those people will also be those that take the decision on whom should be awarded the poster awards tonight. Thank you for coming here. And then I just have a small present for you. So if you could see your name tag, please, please take it off, everybody, and then turn it around, right? And what you can see here is actually a tomato plant. It's a glucagon tomato plant. So I hope you, know, you don't throw this out and you can actually use it after the conference is over. <laughs> okay, uh, so I had the chance to do a glucagon quiz and um, the, there's a QR code, it's activated and you can access the uh, glucagon quiz from now on until this afternoon. There will be a glucagon uh, a quiz uh, award, so uh, don't miss that one out and you're not allowed to cheat, we will figure it out. <laughs> The poster awards uh, is also just a small notice there that um, the um, poster award committee will only evaluate the posters that are uh, up now so, uh, and for the next uh, couple of hours. So if you haven't put your poster up, please do it as soon as possible. And then some boring news, that's the housekeeping rules. You are not allowed to bring coffee in here. You are allow uh, allowed to bring yourself and a friend and some water. Uh, and please try to get back to your seats for five minutes before the next session. And then on the students, made it, please contact them if you have any questions. So the final thing uh, is if you have any dietary restriction or whatever, please let us know. So now to the more exciting things. Why to have a glucagon conference in November 2022? I don't know if anybody has realized that. Perhaps from the title of the conference, 100 years and 100 years more. So if we go a bit back to the year 1899, um, uh, Minkowski and a lot of other scientists, they realized that this was uh, experiments done in, in, in dogs, that if you remove that pancreas, what happened was that those uh, dogs uh, get uh, diabetes. And of course, uh, what was later known is that if you take the pancreas out and you, you know, put it in, uh, uh, this is a, um, a, a juice machine, so it's not what we would normally do, but extraction and you then inject it to the uh, dogs that have uh, been uh, pancreatectomized, well, you had uh, actually resolution of diabetes. So that's where some of the most early signs of that the pancreas actually contained two important things at least. And one of the very important things is, of course, insulin, and you know, all know the story about uh, Frederick Benting and Charles Best and all the other amazing scientists who has been contributing to that field. And last year, there was a 100 years birthday for insulin. But how was glucagon discovered? I don't know if anybody of you know the story. So I've been reading that for my children the last couple of months. They are not so interested. So this is actually one of a, a very old pay, uh, journal, or not a journal, a very old edition from the American Journal of Physiology, which is still a very well-established journal, and I guess most of us has published in that fantastic uh, journal. And what uh, these um, uh, authors did here, investigators did, that, that saw that depending on how you prepare the pancreatic ex extracts, you actually get two different uh, outcomes. Either you got hypoglycemia, which would be the anticipated effect of insulin or extracts containing insulin, but actually there was also some of the ex extracts that contained a factor that increased glucose. 
And you may guess what that was. And here I only managed to get a picture of John Merlin, so Charles, uh, Charles Best, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Charles Cam uh, Kimball, I didn't uh, manage to get a picture of. But here you can see in December 1922, they then did a lot of different extraction methods and they realized that when they injected one of those components to two deep pancreatectoized dogs, it actually raised blood glucose. So that was actually the first evidence in December 1922 that here we have a glucose stimulating factor from the pancreas. So that's at least a beginning of the story on glucagon. 